Look, everybody knows this Europass thing won't happen. Well, well the PM's well, got to play along with it until after the Napoleon Prize is awarded. Napoleon Prize? Yes, it's a NATO award, given once every five years. Gold medal, big ceremony in Brussels, £100,000. The PM's the front runner this time. It's for the statesman who's made the biggest contribution to European unity. Since Napoleon. That is, if you don't count Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> so, what? Well, the awards committee sits in six weeks' time. Well, obviously, the PM isn't going to rock the boat until it's in the bag. You don't put boats in bags. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> oh, nothing, Minister. Once the prize is awarded, the PM will obviously dump the Euro passes. Martin, how many people know about the winner of the Napoleon Prize? Oh, it's top secret. Oh, you mean everyone? No, no, <laughs> top secret. <laughs> well, that's it, then. Humphrey, don't you see? See what, Minister? Backbenchers. Leaks. What, the Welsh Nationalist Party? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> No, sorry for it, Secretary. I'll, I'll come back later. No, 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 don't, don't go! The very man. Come on in, Daniel. I want to ask your advice. You know, I give any help I can, Minister. Though if it's a question of shutting stable doors after horses have bolted, even I am powerless to help, advice-wise. I don't think you'll be powerless in this case. It's really a sort of moral dilemma. Look, supposing a backbencher were to put down a, a question for the Prime Minister, asking whether the Euro pass... Which backbencher? Europass is top secret. Oh, you mean like the winner of the Napoleon Prize is uh, top secret? I think the minister meant a hypothetical backbencher. Quite so, Bernard. Thank you. A hypothetical backbencher. And a hypothetical question to the PM asking whether or not Britain was going to adopt the Europass? Highly improbable. Oh, I agree. Highly improbable. But suppose the PM were to answer yes, it would be very damaging in the country. Yes. And suppose the PM were to answer no, it would be very damaging in Europe. And to the PM personally, Napoleon prize-wise. <laughs> now, suppose a hypothetical minister were to get to hear of this hypothetical question in advance. What should he do? Well, the only responsible course would be to ensure that the question was not tabled. That must be obvious. Serious business, trying to suppress an MP's question. Mm. Nevertheless, there is no other course. The only way to stop him might be to get him to put down a question asking the Prime Minister to squash the rumours about the closure of the Department for Administrative Affairs. Oh, I'm sure. Whatever made you think... No question of anything but the fullest support. But you said only yesterday that a plan to abolish the Department had been put up and the PM was smiling on it. No, smiling at it. Smiling at it, not on it. <laughs> The whole idea is ridiculous, laughable, out of the question. Joke. <laughs> a joke? <laughs> it's a joke. I mean, you didn't imagine... So that a minute from the Prime Minister's office confirming this and squashing the rumour will be circulated to all departments within 24 hours so that we can all share it. Uh, Joke-wise, I mean. <laughs> Do you really think it's necessary? Yes. yes. Well, I'm sure something can be arranged, if you'll excuse me. Checkmate, I think. <laughs> Game, set and match. But can Daniel Hughes really fix this? I mean, don't Prime Ministers have minds of their own? Oh, certainly. But as President Nixon's henchman once said, when you've got them by the balls, their hearts and binds will follow. <laughs>